Wicked, wicked, wicked. You just feel really calm at the fully lengthened. Wicked, wicked, wicked. The longest road is probably consistency over time. Wicked, wicked, wicked. No, I had this idea for a, like a tutorial or a video coming from like I trained this I trained this new kid yesterday who's really gifted really talented but his his big mistake was just like everything was so tense so I'll like show you over here everything was just so tense that he was like over gripping and over over flexing everything if people see me do back videos and back training they see how I they see how I set up people and I I lock on lat right so I pull things down and I set into my lats and my shoulders are down and then I kind of frame from here and have this rocking kind of dropping my shoulder back pulling motion right but it's like these kids like not even kids because full-grown men do it too it's like guys who've been lifting their whole life it's like they're taught as soon as they grab on to weight it's like they have to flex whatever body part it is that they're trying to train so obviously here we're doing back so it's like you see like you get someone to like they'll lock on to this thing and if you tell them to pull it down a bit, they're like this, like, and they hold this thing, like, and there's like this grip, the grip is like gradually getting tighter and tighter and the body's locking down harder and harder. And then it's like to let go of this in this like stuck lockdown position, these, all these people get, they get pulled themselves up. Like they literally get pulled out of the seat themselves. And then to drop down, it's just like pull it back to that tight spot again. I'm sure like people watching, you're guilty of that. People like everywhere around the world are. It's not like some uncommon thing. It's just, so if I think that I'm, I'm flexing back, that I need to like get my back locked and then I need to like create this like locked down chain where I like pull into my back and I, I have to like drive. Even if my body motion's decent and I rock a little bit, which it isn't, a lot of guys just pull, they'll just over tense everything. And girls will do it too. Like it's because they've been, it's been ingrained since you're younger and since you learned how to lift that like whatever you're working, we tense. So if I'm trying to work my back, I tense my back and I lock down. So I think the more I lock down on things, the more I can get my, I can think about my back moving. But the thing is the more that something's, everything's locked, locked down around something, the less movement it has, right? So we set people with both hands or so we do one even we set people so that our elbows out so that our lat is engaged, right? And then we let the hand take the lat out. So the hand pulls the elbow forward and then we drop elbow and pull hand down. So there's a sequence to movement. It's not just getting my hand here or like twisting and driving down in here or flexing this like thing. Cause I don't ever in my life, I don't remember ever feeling myself flex my lat necessarily like when I, obviously when I reach a certain motion where I'm arching and I'm squeezing there's this like crunching feeling or this almost like it's almost like a side bend feeling like I, cr I kind of arch and squeeze my lat low but I really don't get that contraction until I'm about here but in order to get to that depth to feel that lat really grab right away I need to keep it on that lat so I need to keep my elbow low my elbow has to ride out low almost like I'm throwing out like a lobbing a softball so I'm tossing out and then I'm driving down. So even if I'm doing one arm, I can have a little more rock motion. But if I'm two arm, I'm literally up through and back. So my shoulder stays low and I let out from hand. So the first thing that where my lats lock that lets out is my hand pushes forward. It doesn't get, I don't go here and go like this and let my elbow and my, and my shoulder go over and then try and pull out wide again, pull out wide again. It's this always this sunken feeling sunken feeling sunken feeling so i'm trying to let out from hand so i'm literally pushing my hand to the mirror it's taking my arm with it my shoulder's still down even though now it's up a bit i'm going to drop my shoulder down and pull through and rock on that sequence of movement so it's like it's not just on back it's on everything right where people are just locking down like over tensing and thinking that like oh if i'm doing shoulders i'm doing laterals I need to be as tense as I can and just push out on my lateral, push out on my lateral. If there's any number of exercises we can, we can show for that, right? We'll show a bicep thing. It's like the same thing. So we get, I get people to set up on biceps so that their, their elbows over and they're on their triceps so that I'm already flexing my hand and I'm engaging my bicep when I'm here. So when I sit, I'm already on bicep. So I have my weight forward and I'm rocking up through here. 
So I want to be able to get extension in my wrist. So I want to push my weight into the pad so that when I go to curl, I can drive my force down into my tricep and roll up through and squeeze, right? On both sides. So I want to drive and squeeze. It's not just getting it here and getting it there. For guys that are just trying to reach out and flex like this, or they like lock down super tight and they start at the top here and then they, they rock, right? Because they're trying, they're thinking that like, I just want to engage this bicep. So I'm going to keep it as tight as I can, as long as I can, so that it is forced to do all the work, even on the negative and the contraction centric, I'm trying to move up and down and just rock on it. But if you just let your bicep do its movement, which is like, it's going to slide down into your elbow. And if you, if you pronate and then you supinate when you curl, that's why guys do that. So that we're rolling up and f curling up through, right? That's like, I understand like all these guys talking about long head and short head of the bicep and like, oh, I do these curls for this kind of thing. But it's like, just work the whole bicep as a muscle and think about like full range of motion and full contraction on everything you do. And don't be so concerned about like which head I'm working, especially if you're not like that advanced of a lifter where you see these guys doing like, like spider curls with like dumbbells or whatever the fuck they're called. These like flat curls up dumbbells, right? It's like, yeah, that's great. It's just another angle to hit your bicep curl. It's not some unlocking potential. You've discovered how to hit this certain area. It's like your bicep is your bicep and there's two, there's two pieces to it. So it's like, why don't we work both at the same time? Like why emphasize one over the other, right? So if you, if you understand that you can lock down your body and, and therefore causing the muscle that's being worked to be in a, in a, looser position so that it's able to move right same with your back over there like i'm i'm not going to lock into my back and squeeze everything and then go and let all this come up and drop down when i never get this to happen right so if my shoulder can't drop and my chest can't lift i can't squeeze back properly so no matter how tense you get or how strong you are because you can physically pull this heavy weight here and then put it down it literally means nothing like we can go over to a machine right now and i can load four plates on it and I can be in a position and just pull this thing, pull this thing. And that means nothing in terms of my back getting developed. It's literally doing nothing. You're just good at pulling a heavy weight. And that's what I'm talking about when like, when guys are breaking down days into push and pull days, that's what I'm talking about, the nonsense of that. Because people, are, and I know people that do push and pull days that understand that they're training body parts and understand how to train well. But you guys have to be aware you're, it's trickling down to people that don't know what they're doing and they literally think that they're just pushing and pulling things. That's what I'm saying. That's literally what you're teaching these people because they're not bright enough or they're not intelligent enough when it comes to training to know that like just pulling something doesn't give me a back and just pushing something doesn't give me a big chest or big arms or whatever else I'm looking for, right? It's just coming. I, I see this like constantly all the time. It's like the number one thing I see when I train people, the first thing they do is grab weight too hard. If you go over to like a dumbbell rack and you tell someone who's starting how to lift, if you tell them like the first thing you can say to them is like pick up, pick up this dumbbell. And you can walk, you can literally, if you're a trainer and you're watching this, you can tell how bound someone is or how someone, how programmed they are by how they do this. So if you say pick up this dumbbell, most people will do this. And they're like tense already. Like they set themselves up into like, this foreign position with posture and they're like, they can't relax their arm. They don't understand their arm still can drop. Whereas you see like someone who's an experienced lifter when they go to pick up weight, it's literally like I just holding the weight on my body. I don't have to hold posture because I have weight in my body. I understand where my weight is and my body's loose around it. Right? So that's why like, you'll see those same guys like you're like, go and do pick, like pick up. They can tell them again, pick up the weight. And they're like, again like this it's like that's your number one job that day when you train that person is tell them not to pick up the weight and just hold it and tell them to like literally look around and i understand that like you don't need to exert yourself to hold 22 pounds if you're about to pick up the hundreds down there but the hundreds is the same thing so say i'm going to pick up these 70s and do whatever the hell it is i'm going to do with 70s it's going to be the same thing it's going to take more effort to get off the rack but i'm going to be holding it here I'm just going to hold it. So it sits in my body. Do you know what I mean? It's not moving. I'm not, oh my God, like, do you know what I mean? People just have to understand, like, the more relaxed you are and the more you let your body move the way it should, 
the better off it's going to be, right?